So it's up to us now as we see everything unfolding, not to whine and complain and bitch about it, but to say, okay, we were right. Let's do something about it. To all the people on the fence, okay, you didn't believe FEMA camps were, were real? Here it is in a bunch of newspapers. Okay, you didn't believe that the WMDs were staged? Well, now it's admitted. Okay, well, you didn't believe that a Barack Obama was going to keep the secret arrest and torture going? Here's his own executive order. You don't believe the mainstream media is lying? They told you he got rid of this. Here's WhiteHouse.gov. Here it is. He didn't do that. He lied to you. Now, what are you going to do about that? What are you going to say about that? And there's thousands of other issues, and I could rant all day about it. So, look, keep the attacks going. Keep lying about me. Keep doing everything you're doing. Just spell my name right. It's A-L-E-X-J-O-N-E-S, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. Just keep attacking. Just, just keep it going. Please, I want you to intensify it more, 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 more. Give me more. Because all your curses and all your attacks are just blessings to me in the end. God just turns it right around and turns it into something good. So just please, if you strike me down, and I don't want that to happen because i got work to do, but even if they strike me down, it just gets bigger. What did Thomas Jefferson say? The tree of liberty must be nourished from time to time, must be fed, must be watered. The tree of liberty must be watered with the blood of patriots and tyrants. So understand that, ladies and gentlemen. That's why they probably won't kill me. They'll destroy me in the media. They'll, But there's not much to go after me on. I'm a pretty boring guy. So they'll try to manufacture stuff. That doesn't work anymore. People know they're a pack of liars. Look at Blagojevich, a complete open criminal, and people are defending him because they know he's the underdog. They know the system's so corrupt that even though that guy's corrupt, he must have done something against them. The system is shot, folks. It's got to be reworked. It's got to be recreated. Real change, not phony Obamanoid change. Obama, Obama, Bush. You got all these neocons now, all these super right-wing people saying, I like Obama. Yeah, he's starting new wars, encircling Russia, setting up a police state. They love him. Pat Robertson's endorsed him. What does that tell you out there? That means they're making their move with this guy. And so am I going to wimp out and, and wait till people wake up to him to attack him and go after him politically? No. I'm stepping right up to the president. They know that I've produced some of the most viral videos in history, hundreds of millions of views online. They'll probably try all kinds of crap. We've had all sorts of stuff going on. Good. I'm here to fight the New World Order. I'm not here to suck my thumb and play games. I'm here to go toe-to-toe, 110%, and they may kick my butt in the ring. But I'm here in the ring, and you better believe this. You attack my liberty. You attack my freedom. You attack my country. You attack my family. I'm going to fight back. And you may beat me, but you better believe I'm going to keep swinging all the way. And I kick like a mule, and I bite like a crocodile. And so do the American people. So we need to come together against the New World Order and stop forgetting race, religion, and all the stuff we fight about. We need to agree on liberty and freedom and the destruction of tyranny in the New World Order. <sighs> Let's go ahead and talk to who's up next here, Annie in New York. Hello, Alex. Hi, Annie. I think you're wonderful. I was um, working the night that you were... Uh, you went after Geraldo, and I worked in the McGraw-Hill building, and I, I watched that whole thing. It was quite amazing. Did you watch it out the window? Yeah. <laughs> I was working. Or 300 demonstrators it. taking over their live broadcast. That was beautiful. It was great. It was wonderful. But um, I wanted to ask you a couple of things. I mean, it's so difficult for people. I'm one of eight you know, children. I'm a baby boomer. But, you know, I've been following this stuff. I used to work for FEMA, and um, following this stuff for years, and... Thank God got, you know, acquainted with you and your site. The problem is trying to convince people who you know, people who you share values with. And, and they're intelligent people. They work for universities and major corporations. But they just won't come and see the light. And, and I just get scared that... This might be the make or break year, 2009. That's because subconsciously they know it's true. They're afraid. So they go, uh uh, no, no, everything's fine. Uh uh, no, no, everything. I don't want to hear it. I, I mean, I've seen people, I've had family, cousins, and people over, and I've tried to give them a DVD and they act like it's a snake. They're, oh, no, God, no, I don't. You know why? Because they know it's real. But go yeah, ahead. I appreciate that uh, point of view because when I tried to get people to watch Loose Change, it was almost like they were little kids. And they were breaking one of the church commandments, and they were going to get caught. 
they were so afraid, but they did watch it. Well, that's a good way to get our material out because it is avant-garde. It is cutting edge. It is underground. It is dangerous. You tell them this is a super suppressed video, which it is. They're trying to erase them and shut down Endgame, Terror Storm, all these powerful films. And you tell them, well, this is hardcore. And they'll run home and, ah, you know. Anything well, else? Curtains. But, Absolutely. You know, it, would be, it would be helpful if one of your writers, you know, like the st five steps of grieving, th there's also a process like that akin with coming to grips with what the heck is going on. You know, and anger, I feel a lot of anger. I'm over the shock between your stuff and crossing the Rubicon, and, and I really like that new site that you, uh, the August Review, that was very helpful. But it would be great if somebody could put together you know, the steps of not grieving, but coming to grips with the horrible... Ma'am, we're trying we... to expand. We've got three writers that are full-time, a couple that are part-time, and some folks that are guest contributors that we appreciate. Uh, we're trying to expand, and we're doing it while everything's imploding. So, yes, we're, we're trying to do that. We're, we're going to add a lot. In the next few months, people are going to see it. Instead of two films a year, three, four films a year. Uh, more. Well, just wait. You're going to see some new things happening here. And uh, anything else you want to add? I, I wonder if you think that peak oil will play any role in putting the, you know, kibosh to their uh, the the global movement. I mean, it's 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 contrary. You know, when you mentioned Rupert, he he would talk about ninety eight percent accurate, and they would add some things. You know, Rupert called for population reduction, right? I did not know that. Yeah, he wrote that, uh, and has given speeches on it. And he kind of, you know, he he's retired, I guess, to put it lightly these days. Um, Peak oil is actually, they want to reduce resources uh, to control the population. Uh, but certainly, um, well, let's just put it this way. Peak oil is one area that I think you should look at the alternatives on and uh, research, okay? Good to hear from you, though. Great to have you on board with us as a listener. I'm going to come back. Uh, well, I'm going to plug these sponsors. Then I'm going to go to some more of your calls. Then I do have some economic news I want to hit. All these top economists are talking about we are already in a depression, even The Economist magazine, which is as prestigious as it gets. I mean, it's 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 economists that write it. It's, it's, it's kind of a prestigious internal journal that's sold on newsstands. I mean, these are actual white papers you know, that are in it. And they're saying that, and I got a few other uh, economic stories I wanted to uh, hit on, uh, but before I uh, do that, I had one more sponsor that I wanted to tell folks about that is making this show possible. Plus, they're just great folks, and that's eFoodsDirect.com, the J. Michael Stevens Group. The website is just the letter E, FoodsDirect.com. And they have a deal going, I'm told, just a few more weeks where you can get a sampler pack. It's a three-day responder kit is what it's called. It's an, it's it's uh, large servings for one person for three days for $21 of high-quality, non-GMO uh, food. And uh, just uh, try it. It's the three-day responder, three-day, one adult food supply for only twenty-one ninety-five. Give. And this is at cost, by the way. They're doing this as a promotion. And then decide to get a year supply or six-month supply. They have a boogie pack, one-month supply for an adult that just is in a box about this big that uh, just fits in your uh, that just fits in your trunk. So again, eFoodsDirect.com or 800-409-5633, 800-409-5633. They have a lot of great videos and material as well for free on their website about the products. They're the longest continually operating. They're the biggest horrible foods company. They're the folks I trust, eFoodsDirect.com. They're patriots like us. Okay, let's go ahead and go to another phone call here. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Ronnie in Texas. Ronnie, you're on the air. Welcome. Thank you, sir, Alex. Uh, help support our troops decriminalize medicinal marijuana because many of our brave troops experience traumatic brain injuries, TBIs, from IEDs. And, and all the studies of major medical institutions, not the marijuana lobby, uh, the ragtag lobby, uh, but major studies say it is great for brain trauma, great for PTSD. Uh, they've done placebo tests with Prozac and sugar pill, and Prozac is actually bad for PTSD, but they put them on it when marijuana helps them. And I totally agree with you. And, again, I'm not a marijuana guy. I mean, I've smoked yeah. marijuana before, uh, and uh, every few years I'll go. I'll be at an event or something, and I'll go, okay. And then I go, oh, now I remember why I don't smoke this. You know, I don't like this. Uh, but, uh, you know, I really think that, uh, that, well, I mean, I agree with you. Well, uh, the point I'm trying to make is now is the time for our returning troops to have medicinal marijuana because it, it's at least an option to help from their recovery from TBIs. And it's so crucial. I mean, we want, everybody wants to help our troops. And there's a, the reason I think that we're going to put this medicinal marijuana 
is you over the line because it, who doesn't want to help our troops? And well, you know why glaucoma, you know, glaucoma's pressure in the eye, inflammation inside that makes you go blind. It's the number one treatment now, the most effective THC drops in the eye. Right. And uh, my grandmother even had glaucoma and they, you know, gave her those drops and it worked.